Welcome back survivors to a brand new ARC 2 reveal. That's right, the community crunch dropped with a brand new concept art of the Araniomorphus, the last remnant of an ancient power. Who loves spiders and who hates them? Let me know. Now yes, it is just another concept. I know a fair few of you are a bit tired of seeing concept arts and you want something a bit more juicy like gameplay, don't we all? We also didn't get the ARC roadmap, which is looking more likely now to be next week, if it is going to be this month at all. Let's hope it's not the very last Friday of the month. But we got something at least which is better than nothing, and this could be the Uranio TLC that's been needed in ARC 1 for a while. Definitely looks like it could be a contender to me. I mean, this one is pretty big, it is a brood with its offspring, and thankfully in this concept we do have a bit of a scale guide, as we can see down here, a human skeleton, or at least presumed human, it could potentially be an Aratai, but I suspect not, it does very much resemble a human skeleton. So you can clearly see the top half of the skeleton showing you how big the spider is in comparison which is clearly significantly larger than the Uranio in Arc 1. Which, by the way, I don't know if you know this, I didn't actually realise, the Uranio in Arc 1 is actually the Uranio Morphus. It is actually named that, but it's just referred to as Uranio in the game. But definitely is smaller than the Broodmother Listrix. Now this one itself isn't the actual Broodmother as we have in Arc 1, so it's not confirming that the Broodmother will be in Arc 2. This is your typical Uranio, but it is a mother, hence it's a brood, as it has its children around it. This was confirmed by Vic De Leon, one of the directors at Studio Wildcard, who cleared up any possible confusion as to what he meant when he said Uranio, Morphus and Brood. Now there's another skeleton over on the left side that helps to give a bit of a scale too, although unknown what creature that actually was. Some people have said it's the Equus, I'm not sure why it could easily be a raptor skeleton, but I honestly don't see how anyone can claim to know what this is with so little to identify it. So the concept clearly shows lots of babies, including babies on its back, which I think is fantastic. I find this really interesting because I was wondering if this was just for show for the concept illustration, or whether this spider might actually be able to carry its babies around on its back whilst they're growing. However, Craig Brown, Craig Brown, the lead designer on Arc 2, confirmed that it's not just for show, so it is able to have smaller spiders on its back in the game. Or could this be a similar mechanic to the Broodmother, where the mother spider releases or spawns smaller versions of itself to attack its prey? Certainly an interesting thought, and would certainly be quite a TLC of the original Uranio. The concept also shows off a dark cave-like area full of spider webs. I absolutely love it. Of course, we're all expecting there to be caves in Arc 2. I mean, why wouldn't there be? But I am personally curious as to whether areas like this are going to be fixed locations on the Arat planet or whether they will be part of the dynamic world event system. Just looking at this picture and seeing dark, gloomy, cobwebby surroundings, it feels like it's going to be a pretty scary and intimidating place to be, especially when face to face with this spider. Which is why first person view would be fantastic in situations like this. This I think is something that people that love first person and the immersion that comes with that view is really going to miss particularly on official servers where it won't be able to be modded in. The developers have previously said that as part of the dynamic event system, there will be dino pens, which will be the home or the nest for a specific type of creature. And they could be in there breeding and so on. And so this could be one of those where the mummy spider could be defending its babies. The dynamic event system is definitely something I want to see and hear more about because it could greatly expand the content on the map, meaning that even smaller maps could still have a vast amount to explore due to these events popping up all over the place. Also, whether this spider, the big spider, is tameable or rideable is yet to be seen. 
I'm pretty sure that given the scale of the creature, it's unlikely to be a boss. I'm pretty sure it's too small for something to be considered for that. And I'm not sure we'll actually get to see a glimpse of any bosses before the game releases, assuming there are bosses early on in development. I think it might be a bit better for them to not show bosses so that it's a bit more of a surprise when we actually see them in game. But it's possible that something like the dynamic event system could contain smaller bosses to fight to get rewards and XP. So it's possible that this could be some type of smaller boss. So yes, let me know in the comments what you think of the Araniomorphus. Do you like it or do you want to destroy it with fire? Hopefully next week we'll be more excited about going through the roadmap, which I do feel is going to be more interesting than just listing dates for stuff that's coming out. I think it's going to be much more meaty than just that. Fingers crossed. But not long to wait now, just got to get through another week. Survivors, if you don't want to miss out on the latest art news, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.